In the first part of the course, you'll learn the fundamentals of nature-based solutions, or MBS. And in this first video lesson, you'll learn exactly what MBS are and the seven societal issues that MBS are particularly effective at solving. So first, let me start by asking you, what do these things all have in common? So number one, a park that provides a defense against heat waves by storing rainwater while also preventing air pollution. And number two, a forest alongside a river that protects a town from flooding. And number three, mangroves that provide defense against rising sea levels and coastal flooding and storms. So what do they all have in common? They're all MBS. They all use nature to address an important societal issue and solve a problem. So MBS are actions, projects, and initiatives that are inspired by nature and use nature, but they also benefit nature. And MBS calls for a reconsideration of conventional solutions that are purely based on technology and construction and operation of gray infrastructure that doesn't prioritize the protection of ecosystems and biodiversity. So instead, NBS calls for a more sophisticated hybrid approach that combines uh, conventional solutions with nature. NBS is like an umbrella term that covers all the approaches uh, that involve working with nature for societal benefits. The International Union for Conservation of Nature has actively promoted NBS since 2009 and they define MBS as actions to protect, sustainably manage, and restore natural or modified ecosystems that address societal challenges effectively and adaptively, simultaneously providing human well-being and biodiversity benefits. So let's unpack this meaning uh, of this definition by revisiting our previous examples of the park and river forest. Parks and other green spaces like green roofs and green walls provide nature-based defenses against heat waves by storing rainwater and preventing air pollution and their actions to adapt to rising temperatures. So the creation of a park in other green areas is a nature-based solution that addresses climate change mitigation and adaptation. And at the same time, it provides a space for plants and animals. Climate change adaptation is the process of adjusting to current or expected climate change and its impacts. And how about the forest along the river that protects nearby villages from flooding? This is a nature-based solution that addresses the issue of disaster risk reduction. These kinds of actions are often called green infrastructure, which is like strategically planned network of natural and semi-natural areas that deliver ecosystem services and protect biodiversity. So when they're incorporated effectively in land planning, green infrastructure has the potential to provide a cost-effective and multi-benefit solution. There are seven key societal issues that MBS are particularly effective at solving. So number one is climate change mitigation adaptation. And number two, disaster risk reduction. Three, economic and social development. Number four, human health. Number five, food security. Six is water security. And number seven, environmental degradation and biodiversity loss. So let us keep this list of societal issues in mind and take a look at a case study of biodiversity friendly agriculture in Sado City, Japan. Today we visit Sado City, Niigata. Sado City provides an excellent case study of nature-based solutions where the city tries to strike a balance of ecosystem conservation and economic development. The city government provides a right certification system, which is called Tokito Kurasu Sato, which tries to promote the environmental friendly agriculture. Also, the traditional style of Satoyama management provides a beautiful scenery that gives a resource for eco-tourism. With these efforts, Sado is recognized as the Japanese first place of globally important agricultural heritage system. Today, we will listen to some key persons behind this successful story. The rice farmers of Sado used to apply conventional methods of agriculture, which included the use of chemical pesticides and fertilizer. It's high quality rice and was sought after by buyers in Japan. However, after a strong typhoon in 2004, a large portion of this ripe rice crop was lost and Sado farmers couldn't supply their buyers. <laughs> After this event, it was difficult for Sato farmers to regain this position uh, in the market and recover their buyers. So thousands of tons of rice went unsold and the farmers lost a lot of their incomes and livelihoods. It was a crisis for them. 
On the other hand, the iconic Japanese crested ibis had become almost extinct. This bird is considered a special natural mo monument in Japan and used to live in large numbers in Sado Island. え、田んぼの、で、時は餌を取る。鳥ですので、え、田んぼの生き物がま、いなくなったっていうのが一番の大きな、あ、最後の原因だと思います。え、農薬を使う、え、こういう広い田んぼにすることによって、え、用水路が